Hey guys, hope all is well, and today we're going to be creating an art piece of The Beast of Bray Road. Alrighty, thank you for tuning into the video. And if you don't know already, The Beast of Bray Road is a mythical creature that has been told to have stalked the, the road of Bray Road, which is outside of Elkhorn, Wisconsin. And eyewitnesses that have seen the creature have said that it doesn't seem to have attacked anyone, but it has appeared pretty aggressive. And, of course, there's different theories as to what the creature could be, but let's go over the legend with my time lapse, and let's learn about the Beast of Bray Road. Dating back to 1936 in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. There have been numerous sightings of a beast on a road outside the town called Bray Road. Eyewitness accounts have stated the beast to be hairy, humanoid, between 6 to 8 feet tall and resembling a canine of some sort. Its fur appearing a mixture of grays and browns, a face closely resembling a wolf with pointy ears and shiny yellow eyes, it definitely sounds canine. As for its body features, it's said to appear like a muscular man amongst its fur and have the ability to not only walk and run on all fours, but on its hind legs as well. It's been seen sitting on its haunches and kneeling down like a man would. Besides its iconic name, the Beast of Bray Road, the beast is also known as the Bear Wolf, the Man Wolf, or the Indigenous Dog Man. During the 1980s and 1990s, there were reports of the beast appearing in Wellworth, Racine, and Jefferson counties throughout Wisconsin in which it was usually said to be seen eating, hunting, or scavenging. Though it has never physically attacked anyone, witnesses claim it's appeared quite aggressive. Many believe the beast to be a werewolf, a type of Bigfoot, or just another yet-to-be-discovered, unidentified species. Other theories place the beast of being an actual Wendigo, a cannibalistic spirit that possesses over anyone who at some point resorted to cannibalism. Or the beast is in fact a case of misidentification of a wolf, a bear, or a feral dog. But what could it be? Where did it come from? And there you have it. That is the legend of The Beast of Bray Road. If you wish to learn more about it, I highly recommend watching the movie The Bray Road Beast. I watched it on Amazon Prime, and I noted down some things from the movie that I thought I would throw into the video. For example, the state of Wisconsin is known for being a hot spot for paranormal and supernatural activity. For example, there's a lot of UFO sightings, sightings of unknown creatures, and a handful of cult activity within the state. This cult activity would include satanic and ritualistic actions. Bray Road doesn't appear scary looking like you would imagine. It's just like any other farmland road. Eyewitness accounts describe the creature as being 7 to 8 feet tall, having humanoid hands with claws and its head resembling either a wolf or a German shepherd. It would be standing on its hind legs and have yellow eyes. And with that said, what do you think? Do you believe in this legend of the Beast of Bray Road? Everyone has their opinion, but what is yours? Do you believe? Alright, it is done and I love it. I think it's pretty cool. And as a reminder, this is the second video of my new series going over the legends of mythical creatures over my art time lapse. And yeah, the first one is the about the Flatwoods monster. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and tickle the bell icon so you don't miss any notification for my channel. And I'm done talking now. 
And as always, stay awesome, guys.